So we've got another map here. So this one talks about poverty. So in the black area, poverty is less than 20%. In the red area, poverty is over 20%. Wow, it looks like poverty has really you know, dug its heels in here in the southern states. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's still fallout from Reconstruction. That wouldn't surprise me. And what's going on down here along the Rio Grande? Why is everybody so dirt poor over there? Maybe uh, people took their money and moved out to someplace where they're not going to get impacted by illegal immigration. And we have all this area over here. And I believe a lot of this are, uh, these are Indian reservations. So apparently there's a lot of poverty there. And then we get over here to the Central Valley of California. What? And then up here at Eureka in California. Why is there so much poverty over there? I mean, this is like the breadbasket of the California, except they have nuts and fruits and all sorts of stuff there. Why is it? Maybe it's because uh, gangs have taken over and people don't work and stuff like that. And if they do work, it's off the books. That could be. So in Oregon, we do have a stretch of land over here that's in poverty. I believe there is also another Indian reservation over there. But in Oregon, it's hard to tell because everyone has access to totally free legal drugs, you know, and then you have no ambition to get off your couch and go to work. That could be it. Over here in Idaho, we have very, we just have that one little tiny pocket of poverty. I'm not sure what's up with that. If you live over there, let us know. Put something in the comments. But everything else, hey, we're looking pretty good. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video. Go to www.treasurevalleydave.com for more great information.